Hi, my friends. How are you today? I'm East Coast Pete. This is my show. I'm looking at some punk bands now. This is Propagandy. And they're punk from Canada. Manitoba, actually. Starting in 1986. Guitarist Chris Hanna and drummer George Sebaleski from skate punk evolved to technical heavy metal. Lyrics are about left wing activism, veganism, human rights, sexism, racism, homophobia, imperialism, capitalism, and organized religion. And they're all anti, except veganism. I know a little bit about veganism. I am not a vegan now. I was a vegan once. Then I became a vegetarian. I used to really like ice cream. Could not give that up. Then I started liking pizza because I wasn't eating meat so I had to eat pizza couldn't give that up so no to the vegan thing although I understand why people want to do that it's very commendable back to the band with bassist John Sampson, they played live shows with no effects. They covered Cheap Trick, no effects frontman Fat Mike signed the props to his Fat Rex label. The first album was How to Clean Everything in 1993 with three years of tours to spread their message and their message was not always pleasant There's something about that you know I think it made more sense to be a lefty during the Bush years government seems stupid and evil but remember without a conservative template Liberals would have nothing to protest. Nothing kills a scene quicker than mainstreamism, which occurred during the Barry years, leaving liberals with their pants in a twist, with red states having their say as rebellious. Don't fret. Don't fret. Even though Democrats are acting insane today, the youth culture will find a way to rock the boat, ironically leveling the field. It will take bands to do it. Stay busy, you kids. We need you on the other side of the coin. It's just a little East Coast Pete rant for you. What I'm trying to say is like, people who are upset with the fact that we're divided as a country that's what makes us a country we have the right to be divided and everybody has a right to their say I'm right aren't I okay the prop second album less talk more rock yeah, I get that. This band likes to talk a lot. Like East Coast Pete likes to talk a lot. They did it with songs like Apparently I'm a PC Fascist because I care about both human and non-human animals. Nailing Descartes to the wall. Meat is murder. 
nation states are bad, let's have one world, that sort of stuff. All good ideas except for a couple of things. Evangelistic vegans are ruining their own live and let live stance. You can't make people do stuff or you become the problem. And one world is nice, but government wrecks that every time. We are not capable to have one world. Governments are not smart enough to make it work. That's why I favor criticism and rebellion, but not actually accomplishing the goals. Equilibrium, the middle path. You do your thing, I'll do mine, that's where I live. Peace. Go be gay, but with your own asses. Equal pay for equal work, of course, but all men are not Homer Simpsons or family guys. Anyone out there sick of all the I am woman hear me roar? You don't want to be in the kitchen? Fine. But who's gonna wash the dishes? Somebody has to or you're gonna have a lot of dirty dishes. Or you're gonna go through a lot of paper plates, and plastic silverware, and that's not good for the environment either. Men and women and kids need to be self-sufficient. That's what I think. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. That kind of thing. Don't be a Venezuela. It doesn't work. The third album, Today's Empire's Tomorrow's Ashes, was a departure even more political. Hey, more music, less talk, you guys. Don't you know I'm doing a show? I guess you don't. You're really not there right now. I'm just, you're two dimensional. I'm 3D. I know the difference. I was saying they're mo more political, counterintelligence, covert, and sometimes illegal projects like the Black Panthers and Antifa, sometimes even pro communist. Come the fuck on! A communist will tell you that you can't have any religion. Because communism is a religion. Religion isn't always good, but I'd rather have the choice. Just listen to that Devo song, Freedom of Choice. You don't see where I'm going with that. Next album. Potemkin City Limits was more pro-vegan and donations for Haitian relief. You make sure the money gets to the Haitians, not the Clinton Foundation. God damn it. Current roster is Chris Hanna, vocals and guitar, George Samolsky on drums, Todd Kowalski on bass, and Sullyan Hago on guitar, and all of them sing. One, how to clean everything in 93. Everyone's in a big hurry to get through the song. Why? Let's slow it down and make everything less crazy. Okay? Two, less talk, more rock. 96, maybe you've had too much schooling. It's a good thing you like fruit and veggies and tofu and freaking lentils. Eating is not a religion. The title track is sick 
and not in a good way. Three, today's empires, tomorrow's ashes. And the purpose of music is not to spit out hatred with jackhammer guitar shots. Why are you so angry? For Potemkin City Limits in 20-odd-5. This is a speculative fiction. Five supporting cast in 09. Last Will and Testament is a bit better. A tad less annoying, but not for long. I guess they played their best song first on that one. Six. Failed States in 2012. Note to self. Some necessary reflection. You need things that are in the way in order to clean the water. That's what rocks in a stream do. When the water rushes over the rocks, it cleans the water so that when it gets to where we can drink it, it'll be clean and not full of shit. You think things are bad now? Just wait till 2020. <laughs> you know? Seven. Victory lap in 17. Huh? I think you're a little too soon to take a victory lap here, guys. Not right yet. Hurricane Sandy was rough on Seaside. You have so many opinions about everybody. Try doing something nice for someone. When you do that, then do it again. Time has not yet mellowed you guys, and it will one day. That comment about Hurricane Sandy was meant to be uh, a comment on the sleeve art, which shows a, a busted up roller coaster out in the sea that's actually did happen when Hurricane Sandy hit Seaside and Seaside Heights in New Jersey wow was that ever fucked up and they got all kinds of national money to put the town back together including the amusement park when and a week later, after it was almost done being put back together, you burned it down because you didn't wire it right. Oof. Yeah. Makes me think the governor with the George Washington Bridge uh, closing thing was a secondary item on the list of sins in New Jersey. What I'm telling you is to imagine buying a ticket to one of your shows. Now, why would I want to listen to you just because you think you're right? That's not a reason to go to a rock show. And said it before, I'll say it again, there's no one who will ever beat the Ramones. Thank you for being with me. Yes, I did a band I didn't like, okay? This is what it's like. It's because Pete would rather do positive messages 